Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited to announce that the first feature of November Club Bug will be the Color Me Happy Stamp Set. This set actually goes live in my online Stampin' Up! store as of November 1st, 2017. And we're also going to use some of the new Stampin' Blend markers, which also go live November 1st. I'm so excited to share these with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the free card kit. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, the first featured stamp set for November Club Bug is the Color Me Happy stamp set. This stamp set actually um, will be available as of November the 1st, 2017 in my online Stampin' Up! store. I'm so excited about this stamp set because it coordinates with the new Stampin' Blend markers. I am so excited about Stampin' Up!'s new Stampin' Blend markers. These are artist quality alcohol markers. They are awesome and they come in 26 different colors. There is a thick tip and a more fine tip on each marker. There is also a light shade and a dark shade of each marker so that you can get some really nice blending going with your projects. There are also two skin tone markers, ivory and bronze. Plus there is a color lifter which has so many different uses. It's pretty awesome. So as of November 1st, 2017, which hopefully I'm posting this video on November 1st, I'm not sure when I'll get it up, but I'm shooting for November 1st. But as of November 1st, 2017, the Stampin' Blends, the entire set, um, are also available in my online Stampin' Up! store. You can buy the markers individually. You can buy them in a combo pack, which will include the light and the dark shade of each marker or you can bundle all of the colors together and then purchase the skin tones separately as well as the color lifter. So in addition to the stamp set and the blends, there's also a coordinating project kit, the Color Me Happy project kit, and I thought it would be fun for you guys to get to sample this project kit for the first feature of November Club Quidabug. So everyone who places a minimum $35 order in my online Stampin' Up! store using the host code that's right here on the screen, make sure you use that code in order to get the free card kit from me, you will receive one of each of these cards in the mail from me to make as your free card kit for the first feature of November Club Quidabug. I'm really excited about that because you'll get to sample this project kit and also test out the markers. So there are actually eight blend markers that coordinate with this kit. So you get to sample eight of the 26 colors available. You get to use the stamp set and then just practice using the markers. There's definitely a learning curve if you're not used to coloring with markers. So I had a lot of fun practicing creating these cards and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So let me give you a quick up close preview of each of the cards. You'll also get the coordinating envelopes. So you get one of each. So this is the first card and I made several mistakes making my samples. So I'll get to kind of share with you some do's and don'ts as we work through the kit together. Here's card number two. I love these coordinating envelopes. Card number three, so cute. And I did mine a little bit differently because I stamped too low. And then here's card number three, which I also made a mistake on, so I'll give you a tip on that card as well. And then as I said, there are eight coordinating uh, blends that go along with the kit that you would need if you wanna complete the projects just as I have. So you would need the dark and the light shade of Night of Navy, the dark and light shade of Pumpkin Pie, the dark and light pink pirouette, and the dark and light pool party. And I've just got my markers stored in one of our full size um, stamp cases. These are available in my online Stampin' Up! store. And these are a great way to store your blends markers. So I will have a link to these um, down below in the video description if you'd like to order some of these as well. And included with your free card kit will be one of the Stampin' Blends brochures, which has all of the details about the new Stampin' Blends and all of the coordinating products that go along with the blends. And just one other quick note before we start stamping and coloring, um, I will be out of town for a good portion of the beginning of November. So on November the 1st, 2017, once all of these supplies are available for purchase, I will purchase all of the project kits. And then when I return from Stampin' Up's onstage event, I'll I'll package up all of your um, free card kits and I will ship them out November the 13th, 2017. All right, so I'm just gonna take out my kits so that we can get ready. 
So I will have everything nicely packaged for you all as usual. So I've got the supplies out for the very first card. Now it is recommended that when using your Stampin' Blends, you use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink so that your ink doesn't bleed as you color. So I do recommend having this ink as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this little label piece. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is pouring down rain right now and it's kind of relaxing. <laughs> so I've got the camera in a little bit closer, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to see as I do all of the blending. So I'm starting with the thank you stamp. That's going to be what we stamp on this little label here. So I'm just bringing my ink to the stamp uh, because it's a little bit larger than the ink pad itself. Okay, hopefully that's straight. All right, so now I'm just gonna stamp this in the center, and this stamp is sort of large. I have this, I believe this is the F block. I will check, I think this is our F block. So I'm just gonna give that a press, perfect, and nope, this is the E block. So I chose to use the dark shade of Night of Navy, the thin tip, or the more um, fine tip. Uh, I love that you can put the other cap you can snug them together, which is so awesome. Oh, not snug them, nest them, but I like snug them. You can snug them together um, so that you don't lose your caps. So I'm gonna use the uh, thin tip and I'm gonna start coloring in, let me show you so you can see the shading um, here that's already built in. So I'm gonna color that in with my thin tip of Night of Navy. And this again is the dark shade. So this is pretty simple here, nothing to, um, difficult about this step. This thin tip, actually you have really nice control and these blends just, the ink just really flows out so nicely. And I like that um, because it's alcohol based, it's not streaky. I do need to work on staying in the lines, but the nice thing about um, the blends is the color lifter can actually help remove little places where you go out of the lines. So I'll have to do a video on that and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with the dark shade of Pool Party. I've got the thick tip, and I'm just going to quickly color in the rest of my thank you. All right, so I have finished my thank you, and let me say I am a true beginner when it comes to coloring like this. So what I love about these markers is they are so friendly with no matter what level you are in this. So you can see that I've gone a lot of the lines a lot, but you know what, that's okay. I'm a beginner, I'm learning, and I really love how this turned out. All right, so now we can start assembling this card. Super simple, so I'm just going to crease my card base and add a little adhesive to my banner. I want my card to open up vertically, so I'm gonna leave it this direction. And I'm just going to center this up. I'm gonna add a few dimensionals onto the back of my thank you. All right, and now that I've got my dimensionals on the back, I'll just center this up on the front of the card, right about there, and give it a press. And I just realized I was too eager. I forgot to use my dark shade of pumpkin pie to color in these pieces right here. So don't do that. Color in these little teardrops with your dark shade of pumpkin pie. All right, and now that finishes the first card in the Color Me Happy free card kit. Okay, so I've got my supplies here for card number two. So I'm going to take out this little piece of white, bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black, 
and we're gonna use the two bird images from the stamp set. So I'm gonna start by stamping the taller, well, the skinnier looking bird. I'm gonna stamp that one on the right side of this layer. So we'll just put this right there. Okay, and then the little chubby bird We'll put that one right about here. Okay, just like that. Then in your kit, there is this tiny piece of white cardstock. You wanna stamp the oh hello sentiment on this little piece. Now, I'm gonna tell you, it is very difficult. Um, they definitely made this piece tiny, uh, but just do your best to stamp it, so I'm actually gonna pull back a little bit here in my chair. Okay. There we go. So you can see mine doesn't line up perfectly, but I don't mind how that looks. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, so for the bird on the right, I'm gonna use the light and the dark shade of pool party so I'm going to start with the thick tip and this is the light shade and I am just going to color in this entire bird okay now we're gonna actually do some shading. So I've got that all colored in. Now I'm gonna take the thick tip of the darker shade and I'm just going to add in a little definition here around the belly, down here at the bottom, in the wing area, go up and around the sides and then a little bit down the feathers, just like that. Okay, so you can see that line. Now I'm gonna soften that line and blend this out by going back into my um, light shade. And I'm just going to blend this together a little bit better, create a better shadowing effect. And I'm, I like to use a circular motion, I found that was helpful. And then you can kind of see that little shadow effect as that settles into the paper. I love that look. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing for our other bird, but using the pink pirouette. So now I'm gonna go in with my dark shade of pink pirouette do some outlining to create that shadow look. Okay, now I'm gonna bring back my light shade and blend this all out. Okay, so now you can see the shadow effect on that pink pirouette as well, love this. Now, what I want you to notice as well is these markers do bleed through the back of your cardstock, so keep that in mind when you're using them on projects. All right, so now we can color in the legs here. So I'm gonna use the fine tip of my pumpkin pie, this is the dark shade, and I'm just going to color this in on both little birds. And then also get the little beak. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the string of Whisper White um, Baker's Twine that comes in your kit and just put a little adhesive on the back and about a half an inch from the top of this piece of cardstock. You want to wrap your Baker's Twine around this layer. Then trim it off. 
Now I'm going to bring in my card base, fold that over, and I want the scallops pointing down, so I have it on that side. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my bird layer to the front of this card. I'm gonna put that on the right side of my card. So I'll pop that, line it up with that right edge. I'm gonna put that right about there. Now I'm just gonna add a couple of mini dimensionals onto the back of this little gold starburst. And I'm going to add this right about, right about there onto the card. Then with the leftover piece of Whisper White Baker's Twine, I'm gonna slip that right under that piece of twine here that's on the card and I'm gonna tie a little bow. Perfect, I'll trim those down in just a second. Now I'm gonna add my, oh, hello, and I'm just gonna adhere that right about there. Yeah, right about there, with a little bit of adhesive on the back. Just pop that right there and then trim these ends. And then to finish this card, you've got a little bag of sequins and embellishments. I'm gonna take out three of the little purple sequins and the one pool party sequin that's in here and I'm gonna add those to the front of the card using my fine tip glue. All right, so I ended up only adding two of the purples and one pool party. I love how that looks. And then here's our matching envelope. So cute. All right, I've got my supplies here for the third card in the kit. So I'm gonna start with this piece of white cardstock that comes in the kit. I'm also gonna bring in a little piece of scratch paper. I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Then I've got the little string image that comes in the stamp set. I'm just going to ink this little string up and I'm going to stamp this image coming from the right corner of the card at an angle. So right about here, I think I'll stamp it. Okay, that looks good. And be careful, you don't want to put this string too low because that's what I did on my sample. I put this string too low and then I put this one too low as well. So then I couldn't fit my sentiment down at the bottom. I had to put it across the middle, which doesn't look bad, but I'm gonna see if I can do it like the sample or like the picture on the, the kit this time. So I'm gonna put this, oh, right about here, I guess. Let's see if that works. Okay, then there are two lantern stamps in the kit as well. So I'm gonna start with the round lantern image, ink that up, and I'm going to stamp that right about here. Oh, that lined up well. Then I'm going to stamp one sort of off the edge. Okay. And then one more over towards this side right about here. Okay. Then I've got this other lantern. I'll do one right here, and then one in the center of these two. Then on this little pool party piece of cardstock, I'm going to stamp the word celebrate in the center, like so. All right, so now we're ready to do some coloring. So I've got both the light and the dark shade of my pumpkin pie, and I'm gonna start with the light shade and this little lantern die cut for this card. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this entire lantern in the lighter shade. And we're gonna do basically the same technique we did for the little birds. All right, so I've got that colored in. So now I'm gonna go to my darker shade and I want to add some shadowing around the edge here of my little lantern. All 
okay and I want that center I'm gonna blend this but I want the center to be lighter so now I'm just going to take my lighter shade blend this a little bit better that'll get rid of that harsh line from the dark shade oh wow that blended so well oh wow love it so again I got out of the lines a little bit but that's okay I love how that looks you can see that light shade in the center so now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on these two lanterns right here okay and now back to the light to blend this out and soften that line and just make it all flow love that I just love these markers y'all you don't have to be an expert it doesn't have to be perfect it's just fun I love it just one more way to create and I love it okay so now for and I'm not gonna put any coloring here because we're gonna pop this one up on top of that stamping so now for the last two I'm gonna use both shades of the pool party so I'm gonna start with my light shade of pool party and color in the entire lantern okay light shade done go in with that darker shade and create a little bit of shadowing around the edges because again we want the center to be lighter than the rest okay and then go back to your light shade and blend it out love it okay that's complete love how that looks all right so now i'm going to take my card base score that and we're going to take this little piece of gold foiling this is adhesive backed so just remove the backing off of this okay get that backing off once you've got that off of there i'm going to turn my card this direction you just want to line this up on the left get it as straight as you can right about there looks good i'm just going to use my bone folder to adhere that down okay just like that then we're going to take this little piece and we're going to wrap this whisper white um, baker's twine around the top just like we did on the first card so i'm just going to get a little adhesive and again i'm going to do the same thing stick one end in i'm going about a half an inch from the top and I'm just going to wrap this around but before I do that I'm going to go to my little bag with my embellishments and I'm going to get this cute little pool party tassel out of here because I want to add this tassel on there we go so I'm going to put this tassel on here first and then I'm going to adhere it into my adhesive just like so isn't that cute I love how that looks and then I'll adhere this layer to the front of my card. Okay, and we will just pop this towards the right of our card, leaving just a little bit of that gold peeking through. Stick it down right about there. Super cute. Then I'm going to take this little lantern, add a dimensional on the back, and we'll pop this right here over the top of this one just like so now I still didn't stamp my lanterns high enough but you know what that's okay so what I'm actually gonna do is this time I'm gonna put my sentiment this direction I think on the card you know what it doesn't have to be exact I'm fine with this so I'm gonna put it right about right about there then I'm going to add the stars from my little bag. I'm going to add all of these stars on using my fine tip glue. All right, and that finishes up card number three. And you can see the difference in my original sample and the one that we just created. Both look fine. I love how they turned out, and I love these colors together. All right, so I've got the materials for our last and final card, card number four. So on this little piece of pink pure white cardstock, I'm going to stamp so happy for you using my memento. So just ink that stamp up so happy for you. And let me scoot that down a little bit. Stamp that right here in the center. I'll put it right about there. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm gonna bring in my scratch paper and here is an important tip. You wanna make sure that the blunt edge of your piece of Whisper White, let me move this, this blunt edge of the piece of Whisper White, this triangular piece, make sure this is at the top. On my sample, I had it like this and this is actually wrong. So you wanna make sure that that blunt edge is at the top and that it's making the letter L, okay? Then we're gonna take the little flower image, ink that up, in the memento and we're gonna stamp this about six times on here so a little random stamping I'm gonna stamp about right here let's see right about here going off the edge a little bit down here going off the edge a little bit get this one completely on We'll do another one off this corner and then going off this edge here, just like that. Okay, so here's what my stamped layer looks like. Now we're gonna need both shades of Pink Pirouette and just like we did on the bird and the lanterns, we're gonna start with the light shade and color in the entire flower except for the black center. Okay, so get all of those colored in using your light shade and I've got the thick tip here. All right, so I've got that all colored in, so now I'm gonna come in with my darker shade, and you just want to add a little bit of the darker shade right in the center around the black part of your flower. So just add a little bit of shading, okay? And I'm just using kind of a circular motion, just add a little bit of shading, that darker color. All right, so now we're just gonna blend this out. So you can see how it looks right now. There's a very clear line um, where I did the darker shade of Pink Pirouette. Now we're gonna go back to that lighter shade and I'm gonna use a circular motion again. And I'm just gonna blend out that darker line and make these colors just melt together. Okay, so once you've blended that out with your lighter shade of Pink Pure Wet, the colors just melt together and you've got this great dimensional shadowy effect on those flowers. I really love how that turned out. All right, so now I'm just gonna bring in my card base, give it a nice crease with my bone folder, and I've got a little tip for this next step. So we've got some more of this gold to add, but you want to add your gold at a diagonal so that a little bit of it peaks from behind this angled stamped layer. So you want to kind of see where you want to line it up. I made a mistake on this as well on my first try. So I'm just going to lay this down and with a pencil I'm going to mark where I need to line this up. I think that's going to be easiest because I'll show you my mistake on my other one. And, and really what made it uh, more difficult is because I stamped this the wrong direction. So here's my original, you can see I stamped it the wrong way, so then I had to put it on the card the wrong way, and then I couldn't line up my gold piece properly because this was not stamped right. So I've got a little gap here, then I've got a gap here, and then it just looks weird right here. But that's okay, you, you learn. Okay, and once you get that backing off, you can line this up with your pencil marks here. So I've got a mark right there make sure I get my angle right and right there just lay that down I'm not gonna take this excess edge off just yet so I want to line this up and make sure everything works properly yay yay got it okay so now just going to add this down with some adhesive I'm glad my mistakes can help you 
Okay, so then I'll just pop this right here in the corner, line it up, and lay it down. Perfect. And then I'll just snip off this little overhang. All right, so there's that. That looks so cute. So now I'm gonna take my So Happy For You and add a little bit of adhesive. And you wanna line this up all the way over to the right and butt it up to that edge of the card, just like that. And then in your kit, take your last bit of sequins and add those on with your fun tip glue pin. All right, and then once you've done that, that finishes up our last and final card, card number four. All right, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed the first feature of November Club Bug. I'm really excited about this kit, and I'm excited for you guys to experience the Stampin' Blends up close and personal and get some really fun practice using them as well as the new Color Me Happy stamp set. I love this set. So remember, all you have to do to get this free card kit in the mail from me is place a minimum $35 order in my online Stampin' Up! store before shipping and tax. Make sure that you use the host code that I've placed right here on the screen. That code tells me that you're wanting to receive this particular free card kit in the mail. You will receive one of each of these cards as well as the envelope. All you'll need are the supplies that we used today to create these cards in order to create them the exact way that I did today. If you have any questions about Club Quidabug or the new Stampin' Blends, please feel free to let me know. You can comment below this video or email me at quidabughandmaids at gmail.com. Thanks so much, and I'll be back with you again very soon. Bye now.